Okay, so here guys, I'm here with Greycon from DreamAct, the business development. Can you present yourself a bit for the French audience? <coughs> yeah, I've been uh, working for DreamAct the last uh, seven, eight years, part of the, the leadership a leadership group that leads Streamac, and uh, I'm specifically been head of esports the last five or six years, but now I actually changed position to more of a business role. But I'm involved with everything Streamac, uh, especially esports broadcast, yeah, and areas around it. Okay, so we are here in Cluj Napoca for the third major of the year. Uh, how did you choose the location, basically? I mean, overall, our Romanian expansion uh, since 2012 have been kind of aggressive. We're doing two events per year. So we have done one event already in Bucharest uh, this spring. And, and now we're doing our, our first uh, second event outside of Bucharest, which includes Napoca. And like it's, a, it's an IT city, a student city, where uh, you find a lot of uh, similar people as our target group. And uh, also, Silvio, our partner, got a really good uh, uh, you know, relation with the city here and this amazing venue that we have just behind us. So uh, obviously the venue was really important, but also the, the relation with the city here and uh, all the help we get uh, from them. Okay, so now I'd like to speak more specifically about CSGO and the fact that it's a major. Um, how does it become a major? How do you interact with Valve and how, did, how it is chosen as a major? Yeah, I mean, it's not that hard actually, like uh, Valve asked all the organizers, uh, do you want to, or all, uh, a selected amount of organizers, um, do you want to uh, pitch or present plans that could potentially turn into a major? All the organizers send that in and then uh, Valve has an internal evaluation period where they look at the different proposals and just select a major. And we were really happy this year that they selected this event, Trima Kluge Napoca, and uh, we were specifically happy because, I mean, this is an event where we can do almost like a CSGO standalone event, uh, only focusing on one tournament, in comparison to like maybe like Dreamhack Winter and Dreamhack Summer, where we do tons of big tournaments in Dota, Hearthstone, and other games as well, which obviously don't really make it possible to, to make, uh, you know, put all your best people on the same project, and, and here we can really do that. So. Yeah, we were really happy that he selected this event, uh, but yeah, in the end, it, it's their selection and, and not ours. Okay, so, and specifically, when you are in the process of building up the event, when does the support of Valve comes into play? I mean, uh, do they interact with the sponsors or do you have to do it on, all by yourself? Uh, no, I, I mean, it's a little bit different compared to maybe the Delta majors or let's say WCS or, or, or let's say even Riot related stuff where publishers are, you know, almost owning uh, the entire event and they're operating it and they're doing everything. I mean, this is more like, um, uh, I would say, an add-on to an existing event where Valve really, you know, brings a huge value in terms of all the in-game features, the stickers and all that and they pretty much amplify an existing event and just make it, you know, giving it bigger and giving it a, a, a higher status. Uh, but it's, it's actually based on existing events. And I mean, this year we presented in the beginning to have like all our eight events this year and said, this is our opportunities. Uh, what can be interesting? What can, you know, be interesting for you guys? Uh, so, I mean, it could have been, you know, London or, or another uh, event like Tour in France or something like that as well. But I think they're, they're looking at specific requirements, they're looking at specific, you know, stuff that they want to see from the event. And also what's most important, I think, both for us and Valve is the, the online viewership. Uh, how can you attract a, a big number of online viewers? So, okay, the, the last topic I want to talk about, um, ESL demonstrated that they were able to make a 2050 uh, event on their own. Would you be able to do it, or would you have done Cluj Napoca without Valve support? Yes, I would definitely have done the event. It was already planned, but it would be a $40,000 CSGO tournament with eight teams instead, and it would probably be a smaller stage. It would be different in a couple of ways, but we would definitely have done it anyway. What your question implies, or what you really want to ask, is uh, are we going to do, I don't know, $250,000 similar events in the future without Valve support? Yes, we will. In some way we will, we will do it. We haven't announced anything yet and there were some 
some uh, rumors or whatever it's called uh, leaked on HLTV uh, yesterday, but uh, um, or actually after we it. But uh, I mean, overall, we we really want to to do similar events like this, and um, obviously we we would prefer to get the publisher support we have here. But I think esports and also CS:GO is in a position now where it should be able to to sustain or be sustainable on its own. Uh, pure revenues from tickets and sponsors and, and everything else related to this. Um, so definitely we want to do that and we will present more plans later this autumn for, for next year. Okay, so I think it's pretty much it. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.